So we're going to be talking about purpose, vision, and goals, starting with the area of purpose. And purpose is a really heavy topic for people because it like just causes immediate stress of not knowing the purpose of your life. You know, and that's that's a big question. If you don't know, that's okay. I don't want you to stop and, and move away from, from this series because you don't know your purpose. Many people don't know their purpose. But hopefully once you've gone through this, new ser this series and the workshop that I'm gonna introduce and the one-on-one -on -one vision retreat that we're gonna, that I'm gonna tell you about later, you're gonna have a really great idea for understanding what your purpose is. The first place we wanna start is knowing that there are five primary areas that a human needs fulfillment in. Like there's, there's five key areas where these are the most primary areas, the most significant areas that humans really look to fulfill. And there's certainty, variety, significance, connection, growth, and contribution. And generally people will be higher in two of those areas uh, for needing to fill them. You'll be more attracted to certain areas, like maybe significance. You, you need to do some really amazing things in life or in the world. You, you want to leave a, a, a legacy. You want, you want people to know you by what you have done or contributed um, in life. And so significance and contribution can be similar, but contribution feels, you know, if you're in a workplace and, and or in a community in a church or organization or something, and you don't feel like you're able to fit in or you're needed, you know, your value, people see how you can contribute and fit into, you know, a strong area, you're going to, you're going to move away. You're going to feel like you're not valued and you know, you, you you might start looking in different areas and, and uh, different organizations and different groups because that need for significance or, or uh, contribution aren't being met within you. Certainty, people that love certainty, have a high need for certainty. They need to know their schedule. They need to know, you know, what's taking place, how the day's going, how the week's going, you know, is, is there a solid plan in place? And if not, they're not going to really feel secure and safe and, and they're really not going to be fully engaged in, in a program or, or looking ahead if they know that there's not an area of certainty or if a family situation or relationship is, you know, on edge, if they have a high need for certainty, they're going to be stressed and anxious a lot of times. So these are really important things for you to know on where your primary needs are, where you, where you get the, the most fulfillment and you will actually be able to look at, you know, a week of activities, a week of your life, you know, taking taking score of how you spend the most of your time where to get an idea of what primary areas are yours and where you really need to make sure that you're getting fulfilled in those highest areas and also where you can balance your your life out in the other primary areas as well so that you feel like you know I got an even flow going on nothing is really balanced but that you're just feeling like okay Life is good. I feel like I'm in control. You know, my primary needs are, are being met. And I understand that when I'm doing this or I'm with people or I'm able to do that, that I'm really my, at my highest and best use. I'm feeling like my, my best person, my best self, and I can move into everything that I'm working towards and believing for. And it gets really, really exciting. So I have attached a worksheet and this worksheet is why you spend your time where you do. And you, you write down, you know, you take score for a week of where you spend your time, how much time you spend doing it, what it is that you're doing it. And you'll get to notice on if you're spending more, you know, your needs are in certainty, in variety, in significance, in connection, growth, and, and contribution. And then we'll talk a little bit more about that going forward into the area of purpose.